I'll uh, tell you what um, makes me optimistic about uh, limiting uh, emissions is public opinion. And um, you see now, um, you know, it's not about just heads of state and governments making decisions. When the, when the people who vote for them uh, start making noises, uh, then I think they will, they will sit up. So, um, you know, I, I see that, you know, there, are, there is interest in, um, uh, you know, um, these sorts of issues from members of the general public. Um, there's a lot of disinformation out there, um, but increasingly it seems to me that the people I meet have an appreciation of the science of climate change and, you know, these people will start uh, to vote. It's not impossible. I'm, I'm really pessimistic, but I won't be here to see it. <laughs> I like that answer. <laughs> I'm by nature I'm optimistic, so I, I, if I tell you I'm going to tell you something pessimistic, I'll almost certainly give you a happy ending because it's, it's partly by choice, but also because I just think that um, uh, humankind is able to innovate. I mean, we've, this is why we've got a problem really, is we change the world around us. And if we could just change the world around us in a way that was sustainable, and why not, then I think we've got the capacity to do it. I don't have any doubt about that. Um, I do, do worry sometimes that we are always looking to some political leader to tell us how it will be done. And yet at the same time, we also, on the whole, don't respect our political leaders like we used to. So there's a, there's a kind of um, inconsistency here between looking up for guidance and then saying we don't believe a word you say. <laughs> and I think, I think that the, the, the bottom line is that somehow you have to start solving the problem locally and, and require, um, the, require the liberty and the capability to do that really. You know, I mean, if we need, for example, if we want to do microgeneration, why shouldn't people do that? I mean, microgeneration gives people energy independence. The mobile phone that gave us communication independence is absolutely you know, exceeded expectations by a factor of 10 or 100 on, on uptake. If that required, if that was the thing that got us going and we needed a, um, a much better grid, you know, direct current grid, then why wouldn't we be demanding that of our politicians? They would let us solve it, but you've got to give us the right, you know, the right facilities to solve it. So I think, I think people power will work in the end. The goal of geoengineering is basically uh, a technological way of dealing with global warming from increasing greenhouse gas emissions. So that could be by either reducing carbon dioxide concentrations, directly dealing with the problem, or by doing something more zany like uh, reducing the amount of solar energy coming into the earth and cooling the planet that way.